Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Nice weekend, Tom. Do you guys do anything fun? Not as much fun as you had, but no, and you, know apple what? Picking. you know what, maybe we did have some fun as much as you did because we went to uh, the bike path in Stowe, mm -hmm. which was great. That is, uh, that is a good time. And we went to the farmer's market there yesterday while you were picking apples. Yeah, well, there you go. That's a fun weekend. Brian? Yep. I mowed my yard. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Oh, you finally got to that. <laughs> so are my neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was a great weekend. Today was pretty terrific. Just so you know. Just for the record, I mowed by lawn today. Okay, that's, so that's, that's, well, that's great. I'm just trying to keep up with the tolerance. Yeah. That's what you do. Hey, this is the top of Bolton Valley. We're taking a look off to the west. Pretty cool. Look at the clouds. That's neat. 70 degrees. Nice and calm out there. Now, that is going to change, I think, by tomorrow. It's going to be breezier, not only there, but really all over the place. So, hey, we've got temps in the 60s and the 70s. It's 68, tops them, cat. Cabot right now, 68, 61. That is Whiteface doing a 75 in St. Albans. And down to the south, mainly 70s right now, like Lebanon at 75 degrees. Here's what's going to happen tonight. Temperatures not far from 60 for lows. That's in the Champlain Valley. I think we will bottom out, you know, 58, 59 degrees, something like that. You get away from Lake Champlain, and it is going to be cooler than that. So, all right, we've got sun and clouds expected for tomorrow. The main difference here is we'll find more clouds around. Temperatures are going to be pretty similar. South wind is going to pick up, so it's going to become pretty breezy out there during the day tomorrow. Showers arrive by Thursday, even though Wednesday, I think it's going to kind of feel like a transition day. Show you why that is in a minute. This is Storm Tracker, mainly clear for a lot of us right now, but clouds are going to roll in. And this part of a system where we've got rain and actually a couple of, well, areas of the rain. You can see this from the Great Lakes right off the weather map that goes down past Kentucky here and over toward parts of, say, Wisconsin and Minnesota. We've got a tornado warning in effect out that way right now. Now it's going to take a bit for that to get here. You know, I mentioned the rain is here by Thursday. In the meantime, the wind picks up. I think the south wind pretty stiff for a couple of days here. If you're going to be out boating today, and I saw some boats out there, some people were fishing, we've got big waves. It's a south wind expected 15 to 25 knots. Wave heights two to four feet. Water temperature continuing to go down in the 60s. Tomorrow, air temperatures in the 70s, mid 70s, with a mix of sun and clouds. So, you know, I mentioned a few more clouds around later tonight and especially during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, probably more clouds late. Wednesday is going to be a mostly cloudy day. A shower can't be ruled out, but I think the main event for the rain coming in is going to be more the next day and even the day after that on Friday. So partly cloudy tonight. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s for most of us. Partly sunny tomorrow. Here's what we're thinking for highs. In fact, we can kind of nail that down for you a little closer as we spread things out. 75 degrees, that's going to do it tomorrow for that high of 75. 78 degrees, fall arriving on Wednesday. I think for most of the day, for most of us, it's going to be dry. We'll keep an eye on that later in the day, maybe a shower into that night. Thursday, some scattered showers, mid-70s, showers on Friday. Saturday at this point looks dry, but then on Sunday and again Monday, Tuesday, scattered showers are certainly a possibility.